Hey folks, so we're going to carry on, it's a continuation of the um, isolation meals that I've been doing um, while we've been isolating obviously. Um, so it's always been like quick, easy, cheap meals, easy to uh, replicate. And so tonight what we're going to do is a stir fried beef with some rice I've got left over, I've got some salad bits left over and we're going to do it with popcorn as well. So if you've ever tried like stir fried rice, uh, probably never try it with popcorn. So we're going to put some popcorn into it. So ingredients, I've got uh, minced beef, I've got some garlic butter, but you can just use garlic and butter, uh, cooked popcorn, and I've got some zucchini, and you can use any vegetables you want. You can use uh, capsicums, eggplants, you can use carrots, onions, whatever you want. This is a bit of cooked kale, but you can use spinach or other salad, tomatoes, a bit of beaten egg, some rice, and some uh, lettuce. So the lettuce, just cos lettuce. So in the pan, and you can do it in a nice big hot pan, it's not a problem. I've got a plugging wok so it's just a bit nicer than that, you know, it gives me better heat. Okay, first thing we're going to do is I've got quite a high temperature. This is just beaten egg with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to uh, wait for the oil to get hot. And then I plonk that egg into the pan. What you're going to do is turn the egg until you get a cooked pancake on both sides. And again, you can just use like a large frying pan on here. This is a, we've got an induction hot below here. It's quite nice, so you can use gas. Cool. Okay, so we'll take this one out. Keep the pan nice and hot. And then we're gonna go with some uh, sesame oil, but you can use any oil you want. Uh, canola oil, vegetable oil, um, soy oil. So we're just gonna get the uh, pan nice and hot, and in that time, I'm gonna season the meat with some spices. So I've got some Moroccan spice here. You could also use like a Cajun spice or other types of spices or curry if you want to. So I'm just gonna get that pan really, really hot. Just wanna get some Moroccan spice on here. Some salt and the tricky is to get the pan really really hot so chuck the meat into the pan. So we're just gonna like fry this for about four to five minutes Top of there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start to uh, cook the uh, vegetables. So we're going to put in the uh, zucchini, a little bit of salt, Okay, so you're just going to stir fry these uh, the zucchini and it's just had a little bit of salt in there and you're going to stir fry them for about two minutes. You know, you can dice them, slice them. I mean, it really doesn't matter if the zucchini is a little bit firm. You can eat it when it's quite soft or you can have it when it's still quite firm and that's still firm to the bite. Okay, so I'm just going to season now with a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to go in there now with the uh, tomatoes. So I've just had, you can use tin tomatoes if you wanted to. Um, probably not with the juice, but you could take the whole uh, tin tomatoes, be alright, or large tomatoes. The idea with this kitchen videos is just to use up stuff that's in the fridge, you know. I'm not buying food specifically for a dish, I'm buying, you know, um, um, what's available really. And also, more importantly, like what's available in New Zealand, so. Okay, 
Okay, okay, that's right. Right now we're going to get these ones out of the pan. And that they can just go on top of the uh, meat like this. So the idea is, is that we want to try and keep the um, pan um, free of moisture for when we fry up the uh, rice. So the rice is, I've got a bit of um, cold steamed rice from yesterday. And, all, and you can just, this has had a bit of turmeric in there because it's left over before we had a curry yesterday. Um, but you could use just plain rice, as long as it's not short grain. So it wants to be like a long grain rice. So long grain, jasmine, uh, basmati, you know. So this is uh, American long grain. So we're gonna get the pan nice and hot. Um, if you're using a medium sized frying pan, just cut down the ingredients. So it's not that you can't do full portions, but try and, like when you're frying the, the rice, do one portion or two portions at a time. This big wok allows me to fry quite a lot of rice at one time. So we go in there, and we start cooking the rice. So it's very important that the rice is cold. So you really want the rice cold. And don't over stir it at the beginning. Let like the uh, bottom layer of rice get quite hot so that it doesn't stick to the pan. So while it's frying there, you can chuck in some seeds if you like. So I've just got some uh, pumpkin seeds here. So you can use any nuts and use that, you know. Um, next to go in here is gonna be a little bit of kale. Because there's a lot of moisture there, I'm gonna wait until the rice is a bit hot before I chuck in the um, kale. So we're just gonna stir fry that. Okay, when the rice is uh, is hot, then you're ready to go in with the rest of your ingredients. So the rice one fires nicely um, if you've got all the vegetables and the meat in with it. It just won't. You know, when people you see it at a Chinese restaurant, it's because they've got a great big um, high flame underneath. You can't really replicate that at home, so. Okay, so the rice is uh, hot now. So now what I do is I'm gonna go in there with my uh, char. So again, you could use um, spinach. Uh, you could just chuck in some uh, lettuce leaves. It's absolutely fine. So we're gonna warm up the char. It's not gonna take too long. Okay, now if you want to, I'm gonna go in there with a little bit of garlic butter. You could put butter in it, it's not that necessary. I'm just putting it in there, um, really because I've got it to use up and it's quite nice to stir fry with uh, uh, garlic. So not too much butter. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is go in there with the uh, popcorn. So I'm just gonna go in there with popcorn. And you can put as much popcorn as you want in there, you know. Okay, next, I'm gonna stir, fry, stir that through. Mm. Nice, nice. Okay, so next after that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break up this egg a little bit. Maybe easier in the pan. Okay, just gonna break up that egg. We we'll stir the egg through, but at the same time, we're also gonna put some more um, salad through. So it's a good way of getting um, vegetables into, uh, you know, people aren't into vegetables, it's a nice way of eating, you know? Better foods. 
So now I've grabbed some uh, lettuce. So this just cost lettuce, but you can use iceberg or any type of lettuce you want. So I'm just going to go in there with some uh, lettuce. Then we're going to go with some seasoning over the top. I'm just going to season. I want to get some more um, pepper over. Okay, the idea now is we're going to wilt down this lettuce, we're going to soften the lettuce. So once it starts to wilt down, then we're ready to go in there with our meats and vegetables. So the whole time, if the rice is cooked nicely and you've got a high enough heat, the rice won't stick to the bottom. So the rice is not sticking to the bottom. And when that's happening, the rice is toasting in the pan and frying. Okay, so once we're up to this stage, now we're gonna go in there with the uh, rest of the meat. So, all the meat goes in there. Mm. Okie dokie, now it's beginning to look uh, quite colorful. Eh? Okay, so now all we're gonna do is gonna toss through the meat. And to be honest with you, we're very close to being uh, ready. So next, the last ingredient, or second, second to last ingredient, is uh, gonna be uh, vinegar. So, you could use a white wine vinegar, malt vinegar, red wine vinegar, I've got a balsamic vinegar here. We're gonna go with a reduced balsamic. So this one is just cooked down balsamic. You can buy it in the shops. This one's with um, fig. So we're just gonna go in there with a little bit of the um, fig vinegar. So because we fried off with quite a lot of oil, the vinegar like balances, so it's quite nice. So again, with these ones, you know, you can use any vinegar we have. I mean, if you haven't got vinegar, then don't use vinegar, you know. It doesn't need, you know, it's just, it's nice to have a stir fry of ingredients with whatever you have in the fridge. All you really need to do is just make sure the rice is cooked up and it's nice and cold. Okay, so now we're going to have a taste, see how that tastes. Mm. I'm going to go a little bit more salt. Nice, now we're going to finish with a little bit more uh, popcorn. We're ready. Okay. And that's ready. Okay. Right. Ready to serve. Right down there. We've got a nice plate here down in here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna split the lettuce, so a little bit more lettuce. Split that down the middle. But you don't need to have this, it's just a nice bit more greenery on the top. There. Okay. And over the top of this, we're going to put a little bit of uh, Japanese mayonnaise, but you could also do, um, ch this is a uh, smoked chipotle mayonnaise, it's really nice as well, or you could use uh, salad cream. So, show this one up. And then over the top of that one, I'm just going to go with a little bit of, um, oh, I'm going to go with a little bit of uh, the popcorn, a bit more of the popcorn. And then over the top of the whole thing, a little bit of Jeffrey's mayonnaise. And that's it. But that's tonight's meal. You know, really easy. I mean, as so long as you've got the uh, cooked rice, you know, just use up anything that you want in the fridge, really. The more important thing is just it's a nice way of having a nice lot of salad ingredients with um, uh, in a, in a wok fried dish. Anyway, happy isolating. I'll catch you later.